Hello yogis and welcome. My name is Karina. Today we're going to go through a masterclass which I have named the elements of life. We'll be moving through the elements of fire, water, earth, air and ether. For today's class we will be starting with breath work. The breath work which we'll be practicing is known as Kabbalah Bhakti or the breath of fire. For those of you who have not done Kabbalah Bhakti before, it is the forceful breath in and out through the nostrils when we pump the breath from the belly. Shallow breath comes from the chest, deeper breath comes from the belly. As an example of the forceful breath, one pump of the belly is known as one stroke. We'll be going through 25 strokes and five rounds as fast as feels comfortable for your body. I will be doing them with you and I will count down the last five, four, three, two, one. Release the breath and then half an inhale, you'll begin your second, third, fourth and fifth round. From there, we'll be moving into the rest of the elements and I'll explain as we go. So just before you start, I want you to come into the space, finding a comfortable seated meditative pose. Very gently close the eyes. Notice your breath. From where you are, I want you to take a deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. We take a deep breath in again. Exhale, audible sigh out. Just a reminder, your first round of breath work is Kabbalah Bhakti. Kabbalah Bhakti, which is the breath of fire, increases the Rajas Guna in the body, which means that it increases the heating element in the body. So paying special attention to the belly. We'll be taking 25 strokes, five rounds. We take half an inhale. Kabbalah Bhakti begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the breath. Half an inhale. Second round begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the breath. Half an inhale. Third round begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the breath. Half an inhale. Fourth round begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the breath. We take half an inhale. Your final round begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the breath. Take a deep breath in. Pinch the breath, hold the breath at the top, and I want you to hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Release the breath. Keeping the eyes closed, I want you to just take the next three breaths to come back to your own natural rhythm of breathing. Noticing any sensations in the body, perhaps you felt lightheaded, perhaps you felt a little bit of perspiration. Even if you didn't, tune into sensation. Staying soft and supple with your breath. To reset, we take a deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. 
Good, so now that we've worked through heating the body up before we practice, we're now going to work into the water element. The magic about water is that it teaches us to be soft and supple. It teaches us to become malleable with the nature of things. And so we need to let go of everything, any stiffness or tightness that we may have in the body. So we're going to do this in a very small way just to start working into the spine. Staying in your comfortable seated position, I just want you to lengthen up through the spine softly, chin parallel to mat. I want you to imagine that the tip of your chin has be become the marker point or the point of a pen and I've placed a piece of paper underneath your chin. What I want you to do is to draw a huge circle isolating just the, using only the jawline to jut out but freezing the rest of the body so without using the shoulders, the abdomen or the lower part of the body. So imagining that the piece of paper is under the throat and you want to draw a huge circle, just jutting the jaw all the way out and squeezing it all the way in. Moving in one direction, super slow, noticing any creaks and cracks that could be happening through the neck. Keep staying with this movement as awkward or as weird as it feels. We move through the mulch to find the softness. Keep staying with this sensation for four, for three, for two, for one. Very gently change direction, so moving in an anti-clockwise direction. If you went in the other direction, that's fine. Notice if one side feels easier. See if you can close the eyes and stay with this rhythm for four, for three, two, one, inhale, lengthen up through the spine and just reset, soften through the shoulders. For this next round, we're going to freeze the neck and the jaw and the torso. We're going to just be moving across the top half of the body. So the best way to imagine this is to imagine that I've placed you inside a barrel. Just the fronts of the collarbone and the backs of the shoulder blades will be lolling about on the inside of a barrel or the inside of a of a tire. So what that looks like without using any um, force or pressure from the arms, just slowly lolling forward and then allowing a gentle swaying backwards without using the core, without using force. Keep the neck stiff and just notice the softness of that sensation, almost like a bamboo reed blowing in the wind. What does it mean to not use or be in control, to just be moved? Stay with this for three. Stay with this for two. Good, your final one, inhale, slow lift up to reset and we just change direction. So again, just feeling into this sensation and movement, softness. being a little bit more fluid. We stay with this for three, for two, for one. We reset, we take a deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Good, for the final round, this round I want you to use the torso and I'm also going to ask you to use force with the arms. So I want you to hook the hands over the fronts of the knees and imagine that you have got a hula hoop. So when we're using a hula hoop, we actually just gyrating through the center, central part of the torso. So I want you to imagine, I want you to imagine that you've been, you want to touch the edges of a square that's been placed around your torso. So as you inhale, press forward. And as you exhale, roll back, allow the neck to fall in towards the collarbone. So this time the head is getting involved. And then as we inhale, press forward, we bend at the elbows. As we exhale, we tuck the chin, roll back. So inhale, press forward, open up the heart. Exhale, hang back through the spine. And feel free to find some free movement with this. You can make it larger or smaller, your circles. You can move faster or slower, but just allow a general sensation 
of ease to flow through you. Keep staying with this, moving in this one direction for three, for two. Notice as you get the head involved, for one, we take a deep breath in. As we exhale, change direction. Notice how much longer it takes to get into the rhythm of things, if it feels fairly easy. Just notice that. Keep staying with this sensation for three, for two, for one. We take a deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Good. Just shrug the shoulders forward, exaggerate the motion, so get the upper half of the body involved for three, for two, for one. Shrug the shoulders back for three, for two, for one. We take a deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Staying as you are, I'm just shifting to the side. I want you to hook onto the fronts of the knees. We're going for a seated cat cow, so inhale, squeeze shoulder blades together, shrug shoulders back, chin up, chest up, inhale. As you exhale, shrug shoulders forward. We hang back through the spine, tuck the chin towards collarbone. Inhale, squeeze shoulder blades together, open up. And as we exhale, shrug shoulders forward, we hang back through the spine. Final round, inhale slowly, lift up, move up. And as you exhale like a wave, crashing all the way back down, just hold here for three, for two. Inhale slowly, lift up. And as you exhale, plant the palms, cross over the fronts of the shins and just come into your child's pose towards the back of the mat. Bringing the big toes together, knees out wide, and we inch the fingertips forward. We're still staying with this element of water. Allow a softness to come into the body and allow gentle, gentle rhythmic sways through the hips. Noticing sensation and also feeling the breath um, on the inner edges of the thighs. Good. From there, we just take a deep breath in. Exhale, find stillness. Allow the forehead to come down to the mat. Allow the earth to hold your thoughts. If there's anything that we're worried about, I'd like for you to leave that here in this moment. Releasing anything else that you may be holding on to, we take a deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Good, we very gently look forward and I want you to just take five rounds of any intuitive movement. So just staying with this theme of water, I want you to just feel into the body, see what the spine's asking for as you move. So you can press the hips out towards the left. You can come into a cat cow variation. You can even lift into a down dog and just feel into the body. The magic about water is that it takes the shape of any container that it is poured into. So just without needing to look or be like anything, just take the shape of whatever you're feeling. Close the eyes and tune inwards. I want you to stay with this sensation of movement for five, for four, three, two, and one, we take a deep breath in, come to your tabletop. As you exhale, we rest back into your child's pose. Staying with your long, slow, deep breaths. So from here, we'll be moving into the earth element, the practices which will ground us. We're moving into deep hips. So focusing more on the root chakras. <clears throat> so when you're ready, Looking up between the thumbs, I want you to take two rounds of cat-cow variation. So as you inhale, tuck the chin in towards the collarbone. And as you exhale, lower belly, hips up, head up, draw hips back towards heels. Second round, inhale, slow draw forward, tuck chin in towards collarbone. And as you exhale, lower belly, hips up, head up, draw hips back towards heels. On this final round, watch the change. As you inhale, slow roll forward, reach the right arm forward, press the left heel back. Draw the belly in towards the spine and keep reaching the right fingertips as though you're gonna to touch something a little bit further beyond you. 
we take an inhale as you exhale we crunch right elbow in towards left knee try bring draw the nose in towards the knee squeeze everything in drawing in the belly inhale lengthen out exhale squeeze it in inhale lengthen out and as you exhale this round I want you to bend at the left knee reach the right hand behind you option one is here option two grab the front of that left shin shift the left shoulder beyond left fingertips flex the left foot back and just feel into this slight back bend we stay here for three for two we take an inhale as we exhale we slide that left foot behind you so just watch slide the ball of the left foot behind you we keep the knee off the mat we open up across the chest and across the heart slowly gazing upwards you'll feel a stretch through the hip flexor it's quite a beautiful stretch to stay here for three stay for two we take an inhale, slow gaze forward, plant the palm, step the left knee next to the right. We come back into our child's pose, going on the other side. We take a deep breath in to reset. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Inhale, slow roll forward, cat cow variation. And as you exhale, slow roll back. <clears throat> inhale, slow roll forward, tuck the chin. And as you exhale, slow roll back. On this third round, we inhale, roll forward, reach the left arm forward, right heel goes back. I want you to find length from your index finger to your big right toe. We take an inhale. As we exhale, squeeze it in. We draw the nose in towards the knee. Good, and your next inhale, lengthen out. And your next exhale, squeeze it in. Good, inhale, lengthen out, reach the heel back, fingertips forward. And as you exhale, bend at the knee, reach the left hand towards the front of the right shin. If we're not quite reaching, it's good just to go for sensation. Otherwise, when we press the right shoulder beyond the right fingertips. Feel into that. We take a deep breath in. As you exhale, just staying on the ball of the right foot, Drop the left hand down, slide the right foot a little bit further away from you, hands next to hips. We keep the right knee floated off the mat. We open up across chest and heart. So again, we're working into the right hip flexor, staying with your breath. We take an inhale. Exhale, slow gaze forward, plant the palms. Right knee comes next to left child's pose. Inhale, roll forward into your tabletop. Exhale, send the hips up and back. Come into your downward facing dog. So this is our first downward facing dog of the class. I want you to pedal into the feet, dip into the hips, and just engage the muscles through the backs of the legs. And once you've taken a little bit of movement, I actually want you to just find some stillness. Good. when you're ready inhale body roll all the way forward into your high plank shift the shoulders beyond the fingertips take the belly in towards the spine we dome up between the shoulder blades take an inhale as you exhale send the hips up and back downward facing dog second round inhale slowly come onto the balls of the feet bend into the knees this time I want you to shoot forward come into your high plank so inhale shoot forward we inhale again, press away from the mat. And as we exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. This is our final round. Come onto the balls of the feet, bend into the knee. I want you to roll forward into high plank in a five count. So we're moving super slow to feel all the muscles as they shift us forward. So slowly roll forward in five, four, three, two, one. Shift shoulders beyond fingertips. Draw the belly in towards the spine. We take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the knees or full chaturanga between the palms. Hold here for just a moment. Inhale, slow lift up, baby cobra or high cobra. Take an inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Just taking the next three breaths.
Good. Inhale, reach your right leg up towards the sky strong point. Now, whenever we come into a three-legged downward facing dog, what's important to remember is that this is not about the leg that's in the air. It's more about your standing leg, your foundational leg. So as you stay in this position, I want you to keep focusing on squaring the chest down towards the mat, pushing into the palms and fingertips, and then working your lower part of left rib cage to the top of the left thigh. If the left heel is not touching the ground, that is okay, but keep driving for the left heel to touch the ground instead of reaching more height with the right leg. Staying as you are, take an inhale. As you exhale, draw the right knee in towards the nose, tiger curl, shift shoulders beyond fingertips, just hold here. Inhale, reach the right leg up towards the sky. Again, feeling into that sensation, squaring the hips off, bringing lower part of left rib cage to the top of the thigh, the stretches for your standing leg. Inhale again, as you exhale, right knee towards nose, tiger curl. As you do this, I want you to look forward towards me. Lower the shin down without letting it touch the mat. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Reach the right leg up towards the sky, strong point. We take an inhale again, and as we exhale, we step the right foot between the palms. Reach that right arm forward. <clears throat> Keep the left knee floated off the mat. Now, from here, I want you to make sure that the hips are not too high. If you need to slide that left foot further back, you can do that. From here, we're just going to work into the hip flexor <clears throat> by bouncing into the fascia just to increase the fluidity. So from this position, I really want you to bounce for 10, faster than my count, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. Sink into the hip flexor by pushing into the ball of the left foot. Reach the right fingertips forward. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower the left knee down. Reach the arms coming all the way up, coming into your Anjaniyasana. Now, if you feel that you've come up short in your Anjaniyasana, shift that right foot slightly further forward. Open up across chest and heart. We take an inhale. As you exhale, Ardu Hanuman. Option is to bring the hands to either side of the leg. Focus on flexing toes up towards the face. If you wish for something more, you can reach the fingertips behind you. It adds an extra element of balance to your stretch. Wherever you're at, notice the sensation behind your right leg. Notice how it changes as you shift the foot from left to right. Good, staying with your breath, bend into the right knee, reach the arms up, palms come together. Now from here, I want you to bend at the elbows, find your back bend first, gaze goes towards third eye or ceiling, whichever comes first. And then from there, see if it's there for you to lift that left heel up as though the hands will be catching the foot from behind the head. Flex the left toes down, arch through the heart, we hold here for five. Deep breathing for three and we take an inhale as you exhale gaze forward drop the left ball of the foot down interlace the fingers we hook the pinky fingers around the big toe we tuck the chin gaze towards the knee long slow deep breaths We bend into the right knee, drop the left palm down, reach up. We're going to do that whole round again, starting with the pulses. We pulse here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sink and hold. We take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the left knee down, reach the arms up. Find your Anjaniyasana, create space. If it's there for you, allow your gaze to go further back. Keep ears between biceps, stay here for three, stay for two. Inhale, slow lift up. As you exhale, Ardu Hanuman, option, fingertips down towards the mat. Option, reach the fingertips behind you. We bend into the right knee, we reach the arms up, palms come together. So first we find our back bend, we slow gaze back. And then if it's there for you, we lift that left heel up as though the hands will catch the foot from behind the head. Focus on your breath and sinking into the hips. We stay here for three, 
for, to take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the left ball of the foot down, interlace the fingers, hook around the toes, and we tuck the chin, we gaze down towards our right knee. Noticing all sensations, staying with your breath. Good, very gently release the clasp and I want you to come into your Anjanyasana preparation. So from this position, all we're gonna do is reach the arms up, keep your ears between your biceps <clears throat> and push onto the ball of your left foot. Simply float the left knee up. So we're not in a crescent lunge, we're not up here. I want you to really sink into the hips, bring your um, knee just above the ankle. Now, if you notice that the torso is leaning forward, just shorten your stance. You can come up a little bit higher. Keep pressing the torso back, but sink into the hips. So it's meant to feel intense and uncomfortable. I want you to stay here. Find your breath in that discomfort. The legs might, might feel shaky. That's okay. Stay with that. From where you are, I want you to just inch that right foot further away from the body. So this is called an overstretch. Don't push to the point where you feel that you're going to lose your balance. Go to where it feels safe enough to do so. Stay with this. Keep drawing the belly in towards the spine. Sink into the hips a little bit more. We stay for three. For two, we take an inhale. Exhale, reach the fingertips down towards the ground. Watch quickly. As you bend into that left knee, you'll drag the right heel back. This is known as a floating Ardha Hanuman. So notice left knee is bent. We're pressing on the heel of the right foot. And I want you to just play with this sensation where you're bouncing <coughs> in, into bouncing into the back knee. Now you'll notice the stretch that's working behind the right hamstring. Stay with this for three, for two. Now watch the change. Your right hand will come to the top right hand corner. Please feel free to use a block if it's there for you. And as you hop up, left hand catches the front of the left shin. Option to stay in your standing split variation. Option if it's there for you to press the left shin towards the back of the room coming into Chapasana. Take your time as you breathe into this shape. We take an inhale, if you can, just shift the left hand to the front of the left knee so you reach the right arm up. And reach the left arm up, stalk pose, we stay. This is more about finding foundation, grounding into the earth with your standing leg. We take an inhale. As you exhale, press back into a slow warrior three. Arms reach forward, heel presses back. We take an inhale. As you exhale, soft bend in your right knee, drop the left foot down, come into your skandhasana, right hand side. Now, if your skandhasana, try bring the lower part of right rib cage off the top of the right thigh without leading, leaning on the rest of the body, create space. We take an inhale. As you exhale, plant the palms, turn the toes in, heels come out. Coming into our prasarita fold. So it's inhale, half a look up. As you exhale, we fold it down towards the mat. Option one, keep your palms here. Option two, turn the fingertips to point towards the, <clears throat> just turn towards the back. Bring the heel of the hands down. We bend at the elbows and we bring the forehead down towards the mat. Long, slow, deep breaths. Now, if you feel that this is fairly easy, you can heel toe the feet in just to give the hamstrings a bit more work. Otherwise, if the knees are bending, take the legs out and also just being okay with where we're at. Let the neck be heavy. Good. We turn the fingertips forward, inhale, half a look up. As you exhale, bend into your left hand side, Skandhasana, again creating space between the top of the thigh and the rib cage. 
Now, I want you to watch this first before we move into it. It's called an overstretch. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take both hands to either side of the left foot, flop over the top of the right knee and the right um, top of the foot. From this position, we will drag, Matt's a little bit sticky, we'll drag the hip onto the heel. So we lift the left heel up, hip comes onto heel, right knee is down. We find stability, we reach the arms up, look up towards the thumbs. So just doing that again, coming from your skandasana, both hands to either side of the left foot, roll over the top of the right knee, right foot. We drag the hip onto the heel. We reach the arms up. Find and feel into the stretch. It's really beautiful working into that hip flex. So we hold here for three. We hold for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, very gently roll onto the top of the right foot. We reach the fingertips behind us, long stance pyramid pose. You'll feel this in the front leg. Breathe into that. Good, we bend into that left knee, reach the arms forward. Come into a slow warrior three. Drive the right heel up. Good, draw the right thigh in towards the chest, reach the fingertips up towards the sky. The only difference on this round is as we inhale, squeeze everything in, extend the right heel out if it's there for you, otherwise we just keep it bent. So again, this is the earth section because we are rooting into the ground, rooting into our foundation. When we are seeking balance, we are grounded. From here, I want you to bring the hands together in your lotus mudra. Mudras are a beautiful way of moving with intention. So pinkies and thumbs come together, create a flower shape with the heels of the hands touching. We take the thumbs to the third eye, option to bend the knee here, keep it straight. We take an inhale. As you exhale, move into a standing split variation or standing split full, keeping your lotus mudra for as long as you can before the hands touch down to the ground, coming into your standing split or standing split variation. Option to take a hand behind the heel, tuck your gaze. And take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the right foot hip distance from the left, top of the mat. Inhale, half a look up, hook the first two fingers around the big toes. And as you exhale, bend at the elbows, lower part of rib cage towards the tops of the thighs. If you're holding any resistance in the neck, I want you to just let that go. Bend more through the elbows than through the knees, unless we're working on flexibility, give a soft bend to the knees. I really love this pose because it really does feel like a surrender of any heaviness. It asks us to just really let go of everything and feel into what this means. Good. We release the fingers from the toes. Inhale, half a look up. And as you exhale, we step or jump back into your high plank. Chaturanga, hold at the bottom for three, for two. Inhale, so lift up. And as you exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. To reset, we take a deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Going on the other side, we inhale, reach the left leg up towards the sky, strong point. So again, square the chest down towards the mat, focus on bringing the lower part of right rib cage, the top of the right thigh, push into the palms. We take an inhale. As you exhale, draw the left knee towards the nose, tiger curl, shift shoulders beyond fingertips. Good, inhale, reach your left leg up towards the sky, strong point. And then again, focusing on that same squaring of the chest down to the mat. Take an inhale, exhale, left knee towards nose, tiger curl. Slow gaze up towards me, lower the left shin down, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, reach the left leg up towards the sky. We take an inhale again, 
As you exhale, step the left foot forward. Keep the right knee off the mat, reach the left arm forward. We're going for the ballistic bounces to work into the fluidity or the fluid of the fascia. So from here, press into the ball of the right foot and we pulse here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sink into the hips, reach that left arm forward. We take an inhale. Exhale, lower the right knee down, reach the arms up. Come into your Anjanyasana. We take an inhale. Exhale to stay. Inhale again. Exhale, Ardu Hanuman, reach the fingertips down. We reach the fingertips behind you. Again, feeling into the sensation behind the left leg, flexing the toes up. Could we bend into that left knee? Reach the arms up, bring the palms together. We first found our back bend as we bend into the elbows, arch the heart, gaze up, and we lift that right knee up as though we're gonna catch the foot from behind the head. Stay with this for five. We take an inhale, exhale, lower the right ball of the foot, interlace the fingers and hook the fingers around the toes. We tuck the chin, gaze towards the knee. Good, very gently reset. So we drop the right palm down, bend into the left knee, float the right knee up. Doing that round all, to, all again, we start with the ballistic bounces. So we pulse here for 10, nine, faster than my count, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We sink, reach the left fingertips forward, push into the ball of the right foot. We take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the right knee down. Reach the arms coming all the way up, come into your Anjaniyasana. This time, see if you can open up across the heart more, perhaps send your gaze further back. You take an inhale. As you exhale, fingertips on either side of the leg. Ardha Hanuman, or Ardha Hanuman floating, we send the fingertips behind us. I really like playing with changing the direction of the foot, the heel, to feel how that changes the stretch. Noticing sensation. From here, we bend into the left knee, reach the arms up, palms come together. We find our back bend first, gaze up. And if it's there for you, we lift that right heel up. We stay here. Balance and back bend for three, for two. Inhale, slowly gaze forward. So we'll interlace the fingers here. We hook the fingers around the toes, tuck the chin. And when we change the gaze, we shift the gaze to an internal one. We notice the difference in our breath. Perhaps becoming deeper and slower. Good, inhale, slow gaze forward. So we're just gonna come back into our Anjanyasana preparation. Hands next to hips, reach the arms up. From there, press onto the ball of the right foot, float the right knee up, we're staying low. Draw the belly in towards the spine as though you're reaching for the sky. Long, slow, deep breaths here for three, for two. We take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly, slowly walk that left foot further beyond the mat even, coming into an overstretch, still feeling into that hip flexor. We stay here for three, for two. Take an inhale, exhale, reach the fingertips down, bend into the right knee, drag that left heel back. Coming into our floating Ardha Hanuman, I want you to just feel into what this feels like. Feel the stretch behind that left leg, your left hamstring. Feel the bounce, stay with this sensation. Your left hand will go to the top left corner of the mat. As you bend into the right knee, use that momentum to come up. Left hand, top left hand corner, right hand. Option one, standing split variation, just hold it here. Use a block if you need. 
Option two, press the shin towards the back of the mat. Arch through the heart, come into your Chapasana. Take your time as you feel into the stretch, into the breath. We take an inhale. If you can, keep the right hand and just shift it to the top of the right knee. We reach the left arm up. Right arm follows, stalk pose. We take an inhale. As you exhale, arms come forward. Press the heel back, warrior three. Press into the back of that left hamstring and the glute. Find your breath. We take an inhale, soft bend in that left knee. Drop the right foot down. Come into your skandhasana, left hand side. Again, we create space between the lower part of left rib cage and the top of the left thigh. Your options are also to come into your high skandhasana variation. <clears throat> We take an inhale, exhale, sit in your skandhasana. We inhale again. As you exhale, drop the palms, turn the toes in, prasarita. Inhale, half a look up. And as you exhale, fold downwards or with palms facing forward, or you can turn the fingertips towards the back. Whichever option you took on the other side, I recommend taking that option again. Or if you wish for something different, please do that. And then keep working, drawing the belly in towards the spine, staying with your breath. Let the neck hang and be heavy. Again, if you want something a little bit more, you can inch the feet in slightly. Good, inhale, so you turn the fingertips forward, bend into the right knee, come into your skandhasana on the right hand side. We bring the palms to chest. We're going into the overstretch now on the other side. So we'll do this one all together. So first we take a deep breath in, exhale, sink down. Overstretch, hands go to either side of the right foot. We roll over the top of the left knee and the left foot. And we're just gonna drag, lift up onto, lift the right heel up, lift the hip onto the heel, sweep the arms up, look up towards the thumbs. We stay here for three, we stay for two. Take an inhale, as you exhale, roll over the top of the left foot onto the ball of the foot. Long stance pyramid pose, we reach the fingertips back. We bend into the right knee, reach the arms forward, slow warrior three. Press the heel back, flex the toes down. And from there, we draw the left thigh in towards the chest, reach the arms up. Locking in the bandha, we squeeze the belly in, heel comes out. We stay with this, we bring the hands to heel of the hands together. Thumbs and pinkies, lotus mudra, we create a flower. With intention, we bring the thumbs towards the third eye and we slowly, slowly move into standing split or standing split variation. Keeping the lotus till the last, the very last moment that we need to drop the hands to the ground. So we drop the hands to the ground, standing split or standing split variation, whichever works best for your body. We stay here for three, for two. We take an inhale as you exhale, set the left foot next to the right at the top of the mat, hip distance. We step onto the palms. Inhale, half a look up, lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, bend into the elbows, lower part of rib cage to the tops of the thighs. Let the head be heavy. Let your thoughts be held by the earth and let the neck be free. the hands from under the feet inhale half a look up lengthen through the spine and as you exhale step or jump back chaturanga hold for three hold for two inhale so lift up with facing dog or cobra exhale send the hips up and back downward facing dog good so we're just going to take three more breaths before we come into our sun salutation a so just allow the body to settle
When you're ready, starting our sun salutation A, look up between the palms, slightly bending at the knees. Hop, step, jump, hands down towards the top of the mat. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, reverse one dive, the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, we bring the palms to chest. Inhale, sweep the arms coming all the way up. Exhale as we fold. Inhale, half a look up, lengthen. And as we exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, slow lift up. We take an extra breath here. Exhale, send the hips up and back. Come into our downward facing dog. Now at any point, if you wish to take a handstand in your sun salutation A, please do so. When, you get, when you're ready, look up between the palms, second round, slightly bending at the knees, hop, step, jump. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, reverse, one dive, the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, we bring the palms to chest. Inhale, slow sweep up. Exhale as we fold. Inhale, half a look up. And as we exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, slow lift up. Exhale, we send the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. This is our final round. So when you're ready, look up between the palms, slightly bending at the knees. Hop, step, jump. If it's there for you to take a handstand or hold, inhale, half a look up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, reverse one dive, the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, we bring the palms to chest and just very gently close the eyes. Notice the sensation between the fingers as they touch. You can feel the heartbeat between the two. Notice the intricacy of that sensation. And then as you press the feet into the mat, I want you to press into each toe individually and feel yourself ground into the earth. Knowing that you are held and supported with each step that you take or don't. We take a deep breath in. Exhale, open them up, sigh. We slowly peel the eyes open, inhale, slowly sweep the arms coming all the way up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, half a look up, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, slow lift up. Exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Now, this next round is going to start with a scissor switch. If you've never done a scissor switch before, just follow my cueing. If the scissor switch doesn't work for you, simply step forward into a crescent lunge. So when you're ready, inhale, reach the right leg up towards the sky strong point. Come onto the ball of the left foot, bend into the left knee. Now you're gonna use your right leg as a lever to hop the right leg forward. So we scissor switch, hop the right foot forward, land on the ball of the left foot. I usually shimmy the foot forward if I've come up a bit short. We reach the arms up, come into your crescent lunge. Now I want you to sink into the hips, draw the belly in towards the spine, reach the fingertips up. We take an inhale. Exhale, find depth through the hips, not through the back knee. Staying as you are, we slightly inch that right foot forward, going into that overstretch, allowing a little bit more depth and reach with the fingertips. We stay here for five, for three, two. We take an inhale. As we exhale, release the fingertips down towards the side, floating our Duhanaman, we drag the heel back, bend into that left knee, we find that momentum. We stay here for three, for two. We drop the ball of the right foot down, come into that overstretch. So we drop the left knee down, flop onto the top of the left foot, lift the right heel up, so getting stuck to the mat. <laughs> hip comes onto heel, we reach the arms up, gaze towards the thumbs. Again, we're working into that left hip flexor, we hold here for three. For two, we roll over the top of that left foot. Long stance, pyramid pose, reach the fingertips behind you. Find length, squeeze shoulder blades together. We take an inhale. 
exhale to stay. Reach the left arm forward, bend into the right knee, left heel comes in, left toes come out. Come into your goddess pose. So first I want you to check that the pelvis is not ducking and diving, that we're all in alignment, we press the palms out. From there, I want you to take an inhale, exhale, sink. Now from here, we're going to reintroduce that fire element into the earth grounding practice. So for that fire element, we're going to bring in Kabbalah Bhati, 20 strokes. So when you're ready, we take half an inhale. Kabbalah Bhati, begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the breath, sink down lower and stay. Hmm. We turn the right toes into a 45, a little bit more if you need, ground down through that back heel. We reach the arms up into our warrior one. We take an inhale, lift the back heel up, ground back down into it, open up across chest and heart. We inhale again, keep the bend through the left knee, reach the arms forward, slow float up into our warrior three. We draw the right thigh in towards the chest, heel comes forward, arms come up. Good, we lock our root and base, we lock all the bundles, root and base bundles, we lock them in and up, fingertips up towards the sky to keep the heel lifted. We create our lotus mudra, we move with intention, except this round, I want you to come into your standing split and hold without any hands, reaching the ground for a five count. So keep moving towards your standing split. And I want you to keep reaching for it, keep reaching for it, stay with the sensation of uncertainty, unease, for three, for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the hands down. Allow yourself the support. Your options here to stay in your standing split or you can take handstand hops. Play with taking an inversion if it's there for you. Whatever you've got, stay with this for three, for two. If you land, step the right foot back. Left foot to follow, come into your high plank. Chaturanga, hold at the bottom. Inhale, so lift up, shrug the shoulders back. Exhale, send the hips up and back. Come into your downward facing dog. We take a deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Good, going on the other side. Inhale, reach your left leg up towards the sky, strong point. Come onto the ball of the right foot, bend into the right knee. Scissor switch or step that left foot forward. Shimmy the feet out, come into your crescent lunge. Finding your stance, I want you to take a deep breath in. Exhale, sink. Good, slowly, slowly inch that left foot further away from the body, coming into your overstretch. We sink into the hips. We stay here for five, for three. We take an inhale. As you exhale, floating our Duhanaman, we bend into the right knee, drag that left heel back. We find the momentum here. We stay for three, two, one. Good. Come into that overstretch, lower the ball of the left foot down. Right knee comes down, top of the right foot. We lift that left heel up, hip onto heel. We gaze up. We stay here for three, for two. We take an inhale. As you exhale, we roll over the top of the right foot. Long stance pyramid pose. Reach the right arm forward, turn the right heel in, right toes come out into your goddess pose. We press the palms out. We check to see that there's no ducking and diving. We sink into the hips. Bringing that fire element, Kabbalah Bhati, into the practice again. 20 strokes, we take half an inhale. Kabbalah Bhati, begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the breath, sink and hold for five, for three, 
two. Slow turn in of the left foot. Toes come in, come into our warrior one. Back heel is down. We inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink it back just a little bit more. We hold here for three, for two. Keep a soft bend in the right knee, reach the arms forward, lift into your warrior three. Keep driving into the back of that right hamstring. Good, inhale, so lift up. Left thigh in towards the chest, heel comes forward, fingertips towards the sky. We lock in the bando to draw the heel up even higher. We create our lotus mudra, moving with intention, thumbs to third eye. We bring in the hands down, but without touching for as long as possible. So we keep driving into our standing split. But we keep trying to find that balance point without using our hands. Just with our intention, we stay here for three, for two. Release the hands down and you can take your Standing split. If it's there for you to take your handstand hops, I'm just gonna shift a little bit further back. Whatever you've got, play with this for three. If you've got your handstand for two, you can step or jump back or slowly lower it down into your high plank. Chaturanga hold. Inhale, so lift up. Exhale, send the hips up and back. Come into your downward facing dog. Good, very gently lower the shins down towards the mat. Bring the hands to the tops of the thighs. You're just gonna take five to seven long, slow, deep breaths. Just to regain our breath. Before we move into the final round. If you're breathing heavy, become intentional with your exhalations. So really focus on lengthening out, drawing out your exhalations. Keeping the eyes closed, we're going to shrug the shoulders forward, exaggerate the motion, so shrug forward for three, for two, for one, we shrug shoulders back, for three, for two, for one, we take a deep breath in, audible sigh out, we do that again, we take a deep breath in, audible sigh out, very gently peel the eyes open. And from there, we're going to come into our final round. So inhale, slowly shift forward into tabletop. Exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Now, this round starts exactly the same as the last. So when you're ready, inhale, reach the right leg up towards the sky strong point. Come onto the ball of the left foot, bend into the left knee. We're going to try that again. Reach the right leg up and we're going to go into a slow scissor switch. Step the right foot forward or scissor switch, reach the arms up, crescent lunge. We take a deep breath in. Exhale, we sink lower. Slow pulse here off the ball of the back foot for five, four, three, two, one. Sink and hold. We overstretch with that right foot, so we let it go a little bit further. Stay with your breath and intention for three, for two. We take an inhale. Exhale, release the hands down, bend into the left knee, drag the right heel forward. We pulse here for three. For two, we take the right hand to the top right hand corner, left hand to the front of the left shin. We lift into Chapasana first. And if it's there for you, reach the right arm forward, come into your dancer's pose. Staying as you are for seven, five, three. We take an inhale, keep the left hand on the front of the left knee. So your options here. Option one, option two, first two fingers to big toe. Option three, we bring the heel up and out towards the side, right arm extends outwards. Whatever you've got, we stay here for seven. Whoo, it's hot, six, 
Now again, this is more about the foundational leg. Are you grounding into the earth? Don't worry about the leg that's in the hand. We stay for three, for two. Beautiful work, press the heel forward. We take an inhale as you exhale. Warrior three, press the arms forward, heel goes back. Now staying with the chest down, I want you to inhale, draw the left thigh in towards the chest, reach the fingertips behind you. As you exhale, reach the arms up, heel goes back. Try bring the ears between the biceps, hold. We draw the left thigh in towards the chest again, reach the fingertips back. And as you exhale, drive the heel back, arms come forward, hold here for three. For two, we take an inhale. As you exhale, soft bend through the right knee, come into your skandhasana, right hand side. We're not here for long, we take an inhale. As you exhale, toes come in, heels come out. Now this is your choice, whether you wish to stay with your prasarita forward fold that we took before, or this is your opportunity to come into your middle splits. For your middle splits, I'd prefer if you could bring the outer edges of the feet. So instead of having the edges coming up, just keep the outer edges of the feet down and work with that stretch. You can come down onto forearms, palms, whichever support the body best. You can use blocks. And again, just staying with sensation. I always find it so telling when you're in a um, difficult posture, difficult meaning that it challenges your mind and your thought processes, that the quality of your thoughts is also quite dependent on the quality of your breath. So I always recommend that when you're coming into more difficult or challenging postures that you know, your natural body reaction is to come out of them. Really focus on deeper, longer breath. Good. Wherever you're at, I want you to stay here for five, for three, for two. Good. Inhale slowly, slowly lift up and just take your time as you do this. Just heel toe the feet in. We'll come back to that um, prasarita shape. So inhale, half a look up. And as you exhale, skandhasana towards your left hand side. We're not here for long, we're going into that overstretch, hands on either side of the left foot, lower the right knee down. We drag the left hip onto left heel as we raise the left heel up, gaze up, arch through the back, and take an inhale as we exhale, just roll over the top of the foot. Ardha Hanuman here, so your option is to go into your front splits. Option you can stay in your Ardha Hanuman. Option if you have blocks, I want you to come onto your right knee, come into your Anjanyasana or low lunge position and you can place the blocks on either side. What's most important in your splits, whichever position that you do end up taking, is that the torso comes almost behind the hips. Imagine that you are squeezing the shoulder blades together so you're arching the heart away as opposed to leaning over the top of the thigh. Use the blocks as your support and how we did before by slightly inching that front foot a little bit further forward, allow for the stretch to work into that back hip flexor. If this is your maximum, that is okay. Stay with that breath. If you know that you have more, you'll slightly lean forward to find your shape and then again bring the hands back next to the hips. Notice that the chest is always proud. The way that I like to see this is that we keep the chest and the heart open to receive. So by carrying forward, we're not allowing ourselves to receive, we're not keeping the heart open. So keep imagining that throughout your practice, you're receiving. Take a deep breath in. Without moving, exhale. Slowly peel the eyes open and slowly, slowly come back into your Ardu Hanuman. And we're gonna go into our final floating Ardu Hanuman on this side. So just bend into that right knee, 
pressing into the heel of that left foot and we're going to just slowly come up into our final standing split for this leg for this side option you can take your standing split you can play with taking both hands behind that left ankle if you're feeling that option I'm just going to shift further back on the mat you can also take or play with your handstands if that's in your practice whatever you've got when you're ready take an inhale step jump or lower down chaturanga inhale so lift up exhale we send the hips up and back downward facing dog just take three breaths before we go into the final round on the left leg When you're ready, reaching the left leg up towards the sky. This round starts exactly the same as the last, so we come onto the ball of the right foot, bend into the right knee. We scissor switch or step that left foot forward, come into our crescent lunge. We reach the arms coming all the way up. We take an inhale, exhale, sink into the hips. And from here, we're going to pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Sink low and hold. We'll slowly start to inch that left foot further away from the body. So we come into that overstretch. We draw the belly into the spine and reach the fingertips up. We hold here for five, for three. We take an inhale. As you exhale, reach the fingertips down. We come into that floating Ardu Hanuman. We bend into the right knee, drive into that left heel. So we're just gathering momentum here. And when you're ready, as you bend into that right knee, send the left hand top, left hand corner, lift into Chapasana, and then we move straight into Dancer. Notice the differences on each side, if there are any for you. Stay with this for five, for three. We take an inhale. As you exhale, slow reach forward. So your options are hand to the front of the right knee. First two fingers to the big toe. We draw the right heel up towards the sky, reach the left arm out. This is more about driving into the foundational leg. So your standing leg, your left leg. Don't worry too much about the top leg. Worry about your breath. We stay here for three. We stay for two. We take an inhale. As you exhale, release the heel forward. Arms come forward, send the heel back. Come into your warrior three. Try press the ears between the biceps. Inhale, draw the right thigh in towards the chest. Reach the fingertips behind you. Keep the chest low. And as you exhale, send it out. <sighs> Inhale, slowly draw it in. Exhale, slowly send it out. We hold for four, three. Two, take an inhale as you exhale, soft bend in the left knee. Drop the ball of the right foot down. We come into our skandhasana, left hand side. We're not here for long, so as we take an inhale, exhale, drop the palms down, turn the toes in. Option for prasarita or option to come into our middles. Again. Feeling into sensation or where you feel most supported. Long, slow, deep breaths. Sometimes I find that um, in these challenging poses, they ask for us to a certain degree to surrender. Surrender to sensation or simply to surrender to what is. And that's probably <coughs> why the way that we practice is relevant to when we step off the mat. Finding into feeling into softness and into surrender, however much discomfort we may feel. Taking your final deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Good, slowly, slowly start 
walking the feet in, just take your time, come back to your prasarita forward fold. Inhale, half a look up as you exhale, bend into your right knee. Skandasana. We come into our overstretch final round for this time. So onto the left knee, top of the left foot. We lift the right heel up, reach the arms up. <clears throat> Gaze up, make more of a back bend. We take an inhale. As we exhale, roll over the top of the foot. Option to stay in your Ardu Hanuman, or option if you're taking your split variation, we press onto the left knee. You can grab blocks if you require the support. Hands come next to hip. We squeeze the shoulder blades together, opening the chest and the heart up towards the sky. If it's there for you, you can inch that. Right foot further away from the body, going towards your maximum point. Keep shrugging the shoulders back. If you know that you've got your position, your splits position, your Hanuman, Hanumanasana, you just bring the hands next to the hips, arch through the heart, and stay with your breath. Take an inhale, exhale to stay. Good, we slowly, slowly lift out into your Ardu Hanuman, slowly drag that right heel closer to the body. We come into our floating Ardu Hanuman, just find that momentum again as you bend into the left knee. And then slowly lift up into your final standing split option to play with taking both hands behind the right ankle. Option to just step back a little bit so you stay on the mat and you can come into playing with your handstands if it's working for you. So just keep playing with whatever you've got. Stay here for three. Stay for two. Whatever you've got, step, jump, float back, chaturanga. Inhale, slow lift up. Exhale, we send the hips up and back. Whew. We take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it out. Good, I want you to slowly tiptoe towards the top of the mat. Bring the feet towards the hands. And once you reach the top of the mat, I want you to just forward fold. If you can, turn the palms up towards the sky. Let the neck hang. Let everything be heavy. Such a beautiful, beautiful posture. Just to feel, to let go, but also feel so supported. From here, inhale, half a look up. And as you exhale, soft bend in the knees, just reach the hands back, extend the heels out. So for this first round, I want you to just point the toes, take the hands behind the back. Let the pinkies interlink if they can. Squeeze shoulder blades together, arch through the heart, open the throat. Unless we have neck injuries, we'll just tuck the chin, allow the gaze to go back. Allow this opening, allow the receiving. Stay with this for five. For three. Good. Inhale, slowly lift up. Flex the toes, inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly fold forward. Come into your Paschimottanasana.
Good, inhale, slowly lift up. I want you to take your right heel to the outer edge of your left thigh. Right hand goes behind the back. Option to just twist and look beyond your right shoulder. Left eyeball looks beyond your right shoulder or take your left tricep to the outer edge of the right thigh. Flex the left toes up towards you, gaze beyond the right shoulder, just feeling into this twist. Keep lengthening up through the spine with your inhalation. And as you exhale, twist that little bit further. Stay with this for three. Stay with this for two. We take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly gaze forward and just simply switch. Left heel outer edge of right, flex the toes up. Option one, just draw in and twist. Option two, if it's there for you. With each inhalation, lengthen up. With each exhalation, twist right eyeball goes beyond your left shoulder. Take a deep breath in, exhale, release. So normally I would put you in Shavasana, but we're still moving through the air and ether element. So I'd like you to come into a comfortable cross-legged position. For the air element, we'll be doing a particular breath work, which is good for calming the nervous system. There are two rounds of breath work. The one is known as Samavritti or even breathing. All that happens is that you listen to my cueing. It will be inhale for one, exhale for one. Inhale for two, exhale for two. We'll move all the way up to number seven and then work all the way back down. The most important part of this breath work I find is that we need to focus more on allowing or enabling the exhalation to last for the length or the duration of the numbers, whichever number we're on. Generally in society, we're always chasing the next inhalation, which means that our exhalations suffer. This practice allows you to focus on extending your exhalation. When we extend our exhalation, we work into the parasympathetic nervous system, which allows us to feel less stressed and more calm. So that is Samavriti, the first round. The second round is Nadi Shodhana. Nadi Shodhana is called the clearing of the channels and it balances both feminine and masculine energies in the body. It's a really beautiful way added together with Brahmari, the B sound, to prepare the body for meditation. I will guide you through both of these. So for the first round of Samavritti, just lengthening up through the spine, very gently closing the eyes. All that you need to do is listen to my cueing. When you're ready, inhale for one, exhale one. Inhale, two, one. Exhale, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Working our way down, inhale, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. One, exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, two, one. Exhale, two, one. Inhale, one. Exhale, one. Very gently release the breath. Keeping the eyes closed, I just want you to take the next three breaths to come back to your own natural rhythm of breathing. We take a deep breath in to reset. Exhale to release. 
Good. So for this next round of Nadi Shodhana, all that we do is if you bring your right hand up, we bring the um, index finger and the middle fingers down, which leaves our thumbs and the pinky and ring finger. From there, we'll be blocking with the thumb, we block the right nostril. We're going to inhale for five through the left nostril. We'll close and then exhale Brummery hum for 10 through the right nostril. So I'll give you an example. So inhale, close, exhale hum, inhale through the right side again, close, exhale hum. We'll be doing five rounds. The idea be, be, behind making the brummery or humming sound is that it usually, the most important part is the louder you go, the greater the sensation will be felt. It usually, the practice helps with insomnia and also prepares the body quite beautifully for meditation or sleep. As the same is with Nadi Shodhana. It works into the parasympathetic nervous system. So when, it, when you're ready, just bringing the hand up, drawing down the um, index and your ring finger. We're going to start by blocking the right nostril and breathing in for five into the left nostril. So we breathe in for five, four, three, two, one. Close the left, open the right, exhale hum for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale it through the same side, five, four, three, two, one. Close. Mm. Inhale through the same side for five, four, three, two, one. Close left, open right, hum. Mm. Inhale right for five, four, three, two, one. Close, open left, hum, exhale. Mm. Inhale through left, five, four, three, two, one. Close left, hum out right. Mm. Inhale right, five, four, three, two, one. Close right, exhale left. Mm. Inhale through left, five, four, three, two, one. Close, exhale right. Mm. Inhale right, five, four, three, two, one. Close right, exhale left. Mm. Very gently release the breath. Noticing sensation, subtlety. The element of air is breath. And when we practice with breath and we soften with breath, we soften our thoughts and Allow yourself to sit with the sensations. We take a deep breath in. Exhale, slow release. So now I'm, I'll invite you to recline back into Shavasana. If you're unsure of what Shavasana is, you'll just extend the legs out and recline all the way onto the back. If this is not for you, you also have the option to stay in a comfortable seated meditative pose. For the final segment of this class, we'll be working into ether. 
For me, when I consider the element of ether, I consider it as something that is, it belongs to every one of the other elements. It's the one that binds them all together. There is no difference between you and I. There is no difference. We are all made of the same substance. And for me, that is what ether is. So for this last section, as you recline into the body and feel it, the heaviness of the body on the mat, whether you're in Shavasana or in a seated position, I want you to very gently just close the eyes. The practice which we're going to do now is known as a metta meditation. It's understanding that we are all made of the same substances, no matter what it looks like on the outside. We all have varying measures of fire, earth, water, air, but we are all part of the same molecules. Allow yourself to take that in. In understanding that you are a reflection of me and that I am a reflection of you, a metta meditation is when we feel into the joy of our being and we wish that and give that joy to those around us, to loved ones, to strangers. So I really want you to tune into your heart space. And as you become quiet, I want you to feel into the rhythm of your heartbeat today. How is it beating for you? And as you feel into that space, um, perhaps you recognize that your heart does all this work for you without you even needing to ask it to. So many tiny processes happen without you having to even think about it. How beautiful is that and also how perfect in this moment with everything that you are, thought, mind, body, soul, is just simply perfect. Allow that to rest in your heart space and really feel that. And as you allow that feeling to grow in your heart space, let the sensation expand and swell your heart. Let it spread to your entire body. Let that feeling, that knowing of joy and gratitude fill the seams of your skin. Let that sensation seep beyond your skin point of having an understanding that there is no separation, let that joy and love be passed on to first those you wish for it most to be sent to. Send them this feeling of joy that you're feeling, gift it to them. And then start imagining anyone and everyone that you perhaps came into contact with today. Strangers, perfect strangers. It's the most freeing gift to give this joy, to give this love and hold it in your heart for yourself and for others.
allowing it to spread not just to people not just to animals but to the earth on which we walk the fresh air the sun in the sky the ocean that soothes our souls Breathing in the love, at the same time breathing it out. Open to receive and free to give. Staying with that. So to finish your metta practice, I just want you to take a deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. For those who did not take Shavasana, please feel free to take that now. And as everybody just resting back, Slowly, gently start coming back by bringing movement to the fingers and the toes. When and if you feel ready, draw the knees into the chest, hug the knees. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, roll onto your right or left hand side. Take a moment. And when you feel ready again, slowly press yourself up to a seated position. Bring the palms to chest center. And we very gently close the eyes. We take a deep breath in, exhale audible sigh out. We'll be closing with the single om, we take a deep breath in. We take the thumbs to the lips. We thank the body for today's practice. We take the thumbs to the third eye. We thank the spirit for guiding us through. And we bow down to all those who have practiced before us and to all those who practice with us. Thank you. Slowly, gently coming up. Slowly, gently opening the eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me, yogis.